What's up, DK family? My name's Nonstop Parkour, and after two years, I am finally redoing this kip up, this bar kip up tutorial. So, hope you enjoy it. Let's get to it. Okay, so now that you can actually hear me in this tutorial, let's get to the steps. The first step is getting onto the bar, obviously. So you can either do the way that I did the example, where you just jump to it like this, or you can start with a swing. So you want to start the actual kip apart when the bar is in front of your head like this. But you especially don't want to be like all the way in front of it because then you won't get enough momentum. So to actually start it, you're going to have, you're going to shape your whole body into a C. So like this. So chest forward, feet behind you. So, okay, that's the motion. So if you're jumping into it, you would just go straight from when you grab the bar straight into the kip up, so there. And if you're gonna be swinging into it, then you want to time it so that you're like on the swing back. So like this. So, right here's when you wanna do it, there. So once you're in that C position, so right here, your chest is forward, your feet are back, you're going to think of it as bringing the bar to your shins. So you're going here, pretend the bar is in my hands, and you're trying to bring it to your shins, and that's when you're going to do the actual kip part. You want to make sure that your arms are always straight, and that you're not kind of trying to do just a regular pull-up or a muscle-up. So once you're doing that motion of bringing the bar to your shins, your feet and your whole, bo and your whole lower body should be above your chest. Now, what the way that that works, that the kip up works, is that as gravity is pushing your legs down because they're above your chest, it kind of throws your chest back up, kind of like a lever. I know that's a lot to take in, but just kind of think of it, and as you're watching the examples, it should kind of make sense. So let's go over everything again. So once again, you're going to start the kip up while you are behind the bar, not in front of the bar or below the bar. Then you're going to gather momentum by throwing your chest forward and keeping your feet behind you. Then the next step is to try to bring your shins to the bar. Finally, from there, your body should act as a lever. So as your feet start dropping toward the ground because of gravity, your chest should start to rise. Okay, so another way to explain is uh, using my arms. So we're gonna pretend that once again, we're in the position where you're bringing your shins to the bar. So this is your upper body, and this is your uh, lower body, your legs. And in the middle, so right here, would be your hips. So this is where you are right now, right here. Uh, and then what you want to do is keep your hips in the middle so that it's kind of like a lever. What a lot of people do is they bring the bar to about right here and instead of going to their hips and then doing that part, they try going straight from their shins straight to their chest, which is really hard to do because obviously your center of gravity isn't next to the bar. So once again, you want the motion to be, this is your shins, you bring it to your hips and then up instead of shins straight to chest. And yeah, that's kind of all the steps to this move, but just because there aren't many steps, it doesn't mean it's that easy. It took me about a month to perfect mine. It took me like probably a week to get on top of the bar, but it was more or less just a muscle up and using a little bit of momentum. It took me a whole month to get it consistently where I'm not using any muscle fully momentum. So just keep that in mind. You probably won't learn it your first day, but for those of you who do, nice job. <laughs> And with that said, we'll go on to the next part of the video, which will probably be the majority of this tutorial, common things that people do wrong and how to correct it. So the first common problem is bending your arms. I see a lot of people just try to muscle through it and just try to bring the, the bar to their chest and kind of just like inch their chest over it, which is a muscle up, not a kip up. So remember in this whole, during this whole move, your arms should be completely straight. So just look at my arms when I'm doing it. The next problem that people have is trying to rush their leg down once they bring their leg to the bar or trying to rush the kip up part itself, which is kind of the same thing. So what I mean by that is that you've done the C part, so bring your chest forward, having your feet back, and you've done the part where you try to bring your shins to the bar, and then once you're in that position, 
you kind of rush your feet down to rush bringing your chest up instead of letting gravity do it. So what rushing your feet down will result in is obviously like that force will force your chest down, will your whole body down. So that means that it'll be harder to keep the bar at your hips, making it harder for your chest to go up. So focus on where my hips are in relation to the bar. As you can see, my hip touches the bar, not my chest or my stomach. And as you can see from this, rushing your feet to the ground results in you not being able to get high enough on the bar. So a good indicator on whether you're doing this or not, which is rushing your feet down, is where the bar hits your body. So the best scenario is you throwing the bar all the way to almost slightly above your knees and then kind of bringing it to your hips. And then the worst case scenario is what a lot of people do, which is kind of like hitting it to your chest or anywhere, anywhere on your torso. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to explain this because this is a very hard move to explain the timing of and the technique of. So when we're in the position, you already did the C part and you brought your shins to the bar. The problem with rushing your feet down is that for the most part, your center of gravity is your hips. Now, if you throw your feet down, then you're gonna be bringing your center of gravity, to, gravity down, which is your hips, and then you're forced to like go like this. But if you let gravity do its thing, and kind of keep your center of gravity next to the bar and let your feet drop down, then it will kind of act as a lever, as I've said. So just as a visual, the two differences, throwing your feet down is like this, and doing the correct way, letting gravity do its thing, is this. So hopefully that helps. I know it's, a, it's very hard to kind of grasp, but hopefully that did help. And once again, this is a lot harder than it looks, and I really think that this move is the epitome of the phrase easier said than done. So if you're still having trouble, uh, feel free to DM me or direct message me on any of my social medias and I'll be happy to help. My social media names and usernames and all that good stuff is in the description below. And finally, I'm not going to be doing the third step of fear of the move and how to get over it because if you're scared of throwing a kip up, then you probably shouldn't be working on a kip up. You should probably work on not being scared of pull-ups, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but with that, I'm going to end the video. I really hope this helped. Once again, this is a very hard move to explain, I think. So if it did help, please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, good luck with your future endeavors. You should also ring the notification bell button because I'm gonna be making another PK person, no, PK family fun time video. <laughs> so you should comment random stuff for that. And I'm gonna stop talking now. I'll see you in the next one, which is the PK Family Fun Time video. Bye bye. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Counts. Okay. Oh, I wanna be like you. I'll do you